Hello and Namaste. The learning extension trajectories are mechanisms in a learner centric MOOC to address the diversity of learners and their learning levels. Structurally, the LXTs consist of multiple type of resources followed by a graded assimilation quiz that incentivizes the access to these resources. In this learning dialogue, I will be providing you with guidelines that help in answering the third question that is how to create an assimilation quiz. Consider the scenario of a face to face classroom where you have just finished a lecture on an interesting concept. You know that the students found this topic really interesting and they are actually trying to look at the different variety of applications that are related to this concept. To further engage them in pursuing the concept, you have already prepared a list of resources uh, related to the advances in this uh, topic uh, in the form of maybe videos, it could be research papers, it could be interviews with experts working in this field, um, the list of applications that use this concept etc and have brought a USB with you. At the end of the class, you pass this USB to the students and ask them to copy it. Now take a moment, pause and think about the following questions. How many students are going to access all these resources? How many students are going to access at least one resource? I expect a most common answer to the first question to be a number which is very close to 0. Yeah, there might be few numbers, but it is closer to 0, is not it? But most of you would have thought a majority of students to access at least one resource, that is for the second question, you would have an answer which is slightly greater. Now let us rewind back for a moment. You are still in the same class, you see that all the students or most of the students have copied the resource. For a difference, you are now saying the following sentence to all the students. In the next class, I will take a 5 minute quiz. Each question in the quiz will be based on these resources that I have shared. You are required to answer only one of these questions. Now, now rethink about the questions that I asked before. How many students are going to access all the resources? How many are going to access at least one? So I now imagine that there is going to be a difference in the numbers that you have right now. The answer to the first question will be a number which is slightly greater than 0. It will not be so close to 0 right now. But I think most of you would have thought that most of the students will access at least one resource. So you will have a number close to 100 percent as an answer to the second uh, question. Why has this happened? So this has happened because you have incentivized the access to these resources and this is what assimilation quiz also does. Now let me give guidelines on creation of an assimilation quiz. So guideline number one is that each learning extension trajectory should have an assimilation quiz associated with it. Second guideline, the quiz should not be too complex that a person has to spend additional time in finding out the answer. So the guideline number two is anybody who access this resource should be able to immediately answer the question of assimilation quiz. So let me give a simple example to it. So consider the case of a research paper which you have given as an 
learning extension trajectory. While creating a simulation quiz to this research paper, what you should keep in mind is that the learner should be able to immediately get this information by just accessing this resource. So, you could give a question as to uh, something that is there in the abstract. So, some important new contribution of the paper that is already available in the abstract. So, your question could be what is the contribution of this paper? That they can easily find out from the abstract. Consider the example of a video that you have already shared with uh, your students as a learning extension trajectory. One possible assimilation quiz could be what has happened in that video at a particular time point. This would encourage the learners to actually go to the video and look at what happened. A third guideline for creation of assimilation quiz is that ensure that the assimilation quizzes have a minor grade associated with it. The marks should not be too high nor it should be too low. So, once you follow all these three guidelines, you will be able to make your assimilation quiz.